Hey guys, so um, just received the GoPro Hero 3 in the mail uh, in preparation for my Turks and Caicos trip um, early April and right now it's early March. The reason I got it so early is because um, apparently there have been a lot of production quality control issue with the GoPro Hero 3. Um, there's issue like um, the camera freezing up, you know, um, actually that's the main issue. Um, among other things are like um, you start recording video and within five seconds you'll stop and if you didn't know you kind of missed the opportunity to record that video and that run whether you're snowboarding or whatever you know so there are a lot of like little fixes that you could do with the firmware but um actually i know i know they recently released a firmware firmware update but i'm not sure if they're addressed either way i just want to get it early so i have a chance to kind of play with it a little bit to make sure everything is um in as best possible shape before i head off to the trip so i got i give myself a month but anyways um so I just received this, so let's do a quick unboxing video. So far all the video I see online um, have excellent, excellent image quality, um, even compared to like Sony action cam or the um, uh, contour. So even with those issues in mind, I still kind of took a gamble and decided to go with the GoPro. All right, so outer sleeve slides off. Probably should have showed you the outer sleeve, but you can probably look online or go to a store. Here we go. So I got a black version that comes with a remote. All right, let's see what's going on. Open it this way. Okay. And I think the um, package design team did a pretty good job. GoPro, you put it on there, it's like on a pedestal, you know? It looks, it gives it some kind of credibility. So, Square cover comes off, right? Now you have to go pro by yourself or with the remote. Looks pretty cool. Okay, now how do I... Okay, arrow pointing up. Oh, so it opens up. And the bottom is held together by... A zip, well, not zip tie, but like a twist tie. Well, I'm a web designer, so I'm kind of I'm really interested in to see how people design the packaging as well because first impression, you know, that's that's important. And um, uh, while presentation looks nice, it's a little bit more <laughs> effort I needed to kind of take everything apart. However, presentation does look nice, and I guess at this point I already bought it, so it doesn't really matter. How comes the remote? Wow, they're really afraid of this thing moving around, huh? Yeah, so the cool thing about the black is that it comes with the remote and um, it has Wi Fi connection. So I have an iPhone 4 right now, so I can download the um, GoPro apps to kind of control the GoPro remotely. It's cool, for example, like in the future, I do something called like Dragon Boat. So I could potentially mount the camera to the front or the back of the boat, and I could be in the middle. And I could just use my phone to kind of trigger to start or stop the video. And I can kind of get a preview of what the camera sees as well. So I understand that there's um, a, <clears throat> finally, I understand that there's a big lag between um, things showing up on the apps versus um, what's being filmed. It's like five seconds lag, but uh, it's, it's good enough to kind of let you compose the screen. Okay. So, remove. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess with this later. Don't want to break anything. Okay. Software update is available for your Hero 3. Please visit, please visit. okay. Run the menu. 
Oh, okay. Download the user menu there instead. Did they not print one? Okay, so I guess there's no print menu. Everything's uh, virtual now. Huh? Let's see if that's true. I guess it is. So, with the package. I'll pull the stuff up. Extra mount. These are the adhesive. Um, you can mount it on like snowboard helmet and stuff like that. Uh, my friend that has a GoPro too said that like these actually come off if you apply like um, use a hairdryer to blow on it. When it gets hot you can just peel it off without leaving any residue. So I'll, I'll go ahead and use these on a helmet and um, snowboard. Battery. I also ordered um, extra battery. It's called Wasabi. It's like a, a charger with like two two extra batteries. That's actually rated higher than the stock one. And um, it's only like 25 bucks or 26 really great value everybody recommended it so pick that up um, cables cables extra back door the one that comes connected is a uh, fully sealed um, the waterproof all the way up to like I think it's something ridiculous it's like 100, 170 something feet or something around that range basically um, the main reason I want to get the GoPro like for April is because I do scuba diving and I do uh, snorkeling so I want something that's like that can take underwater um, <clears throat> with like high high resolution and here it is so I would keep um, this on but like for land like bike and stuff where I need the sound I would uh, put this on put this back door on it has a two clear gap so sound can travel through better and let's see we got extra mounts here not sure what that's about oh no this is for the this is for the action for the for the action mounts with this yeah, okay, all right. And what else is here? Wi-Fi attack string. Okay, keychain. <laughs> so, all right, that's, um, uh, and then like stickers, 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 yeah. So besides that, I um, also ordered like a couple <coughs> different pieces of accessories. I have the tripod head mounts, which is pretty essential in my opinion. Uh, I also got like a um, extendable monopod that I'm planning to take underwater for like snorkeling and stuff like that. This way I can um, kind of film film the like sea life from like the same, hopefully it's the same plane, plane and stuff like looking down, which I hope will provide like better video footage and stuff. And also you can mount it of course on like tripod and other things. Next I got head mount, which I think is pretty much a um, necessity. And last but not least, I got the ram mount. The ram mount is pretty much like um, the stock suction cup mount, but I can't really find it, like the GoPro Hero 2 suction cup mount. And this actually came really uh, like highly recommended on Amazon, all right? It's like about 30 bucks. Uh, and it's like really solidly built. And looking at this base, it's kind of ridiculous. It's huge, right? So I have no doubt that it can kind of um, stick to like flat surface pretty well. But I'll try it out, and I'm sure I'll do some review later on down the road. So uh, please subscribe to keep up to date. Right now, this is kind of like a quick unboxing video. I didn't even bother taking this out yet. <laughs> I'm gonna slowly figure it out instead of trying to power through it and risk breaking it. But right now I'm slightly nervous because of all the bad reviews uh, the Hero 3 has been getting about like camera freezing or like battery just de discharges really quickly if you leave it inside. Um, basically a lot of a lot of little issues. So I'm gonna go ahead and just open it up, um, hook it up to the computer and do some firmware updates first before I do anything. And um, I hear you, you should let it charge for the first 12 hours too, so I'll go ahead and do that. Afterwards, I'm sure I'm gonna probably strap it to my dock Mac <laughs> and uh, take him out for a walk and get some footage I can play with and I can show you guys the quality of. All right, so um, here it is, GoPro Hero 3. Partial unboxing because I'm too lame to uh, take this off the top. All right. See you guys.